How you doing? This is it. This is the final load. I know I've talked about this laundry for a long time, but it wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. But it's kind of a paradox, really, when I think about it, because it's the first time I've done laundry since Teresa died. And it was the last time that I washed some of her things. But it's also the first time that I'm doing laundry as a single dad. The first of many loads. Now the girls do their own laundry, but um, I take care of mine. Hey, let me show you a trick for folding towels. It's pretty cool. My mother-in-law, who worked as a housekeeper, showed me this. And it's pretty cool. You take the towel, right? You take it, fold it in half long ways like that, right? Then you take that, fold that in half, right? See? You end up with a square like this. When you get this square, or actually that's a rectangle, I'm sorry, rectangle. I'm a C student in geometry. When you get that rectangle, lay it down, and you just make three folds. One, well actually two folds, and two. But when you look at it, it has three layers. One, two, three. They stack so nicely together. When you do that, isn't that kind of cool? Just a little trick. Anyway, yeah, it was a decent day. I don't know why I kept putting this off, and I'm telling you what, for all of those people out there who are posting that, hey, if you're in the laundry, come and do my laundry. <laughs> hey, you can come and do my laundry. You know what? When you wear it, you wash it. I love you, but um, doing this laundry is enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, I mean, if for some reason you know physically can't and I have the time and I'm available you know what I would come and do your laundry Jesus wants us to do stuff like that it's those little things okay you know what I shouldn't just volunteer myself to do anyone's laundry because you know how some people like don't do windows let's just say I love you but I'm not watching personal items and I'm just going to leave it at that. But other stuff like jeans and shirts and, you know, sheets and towels and that kind of stuff, you know, hey, I'm not above, you know, rolling up my sleeves and doing the work because, you know, you got to work. That's what I want to do, you know. I'm not going to sit back and collect a check, you know. The people from Social Security Office, well, I shouldn't say the people, um, um, the lady, she was really, really nice, but um, seemed a little surprised when um, I said, you know, it's my full intention to work and um i think she thought that was refreshing you know I, I i just get the impression that you know there's so many people that come in there and um you know they're old enough and able to you know still try to do something and um you know they get the check that's not me you know also the other thing that's not me and that's getting stronger every day is just not going to let sadness overtake my life. When the melancholy comes, it will come, and I will deal with it. But in those times when it's not there, I'm going to live, you know, and I'm going to live richly to um, set that example for my girls, you know. I want them to get the most out of this life that they can. And, um, you know, God's been good to me, and he's been good to them, and I know he's going to continue to be good to them. And um, I'm going to help them be all that they can be. But first, if I could just get them to pick up that closet. Good Lord. In some ways, <laughs> they remind me of my brothers when we were living together. You know, some of them could just take their clothes off and just leave them where they step out of them. I don't understand that. Do you guys do that? If you do, stop it. Walk over to the hamper and put them in the dirty clothes. Picks up the mess, you know. Someone once told me, and I can't remember who it was, and it's good advice. When you walk into a room, whether it's your own room or you're a guest in someone's house, you know what the best things you can do? The very best things you can do, to me, my opinion, is leave it the way you found it. 
When you walk into the room, take a look around. You see how it looks? When you leave that room and it looks just like you left, like you found it, were you really there? You know that saying about a tree falling in the woods and no one is there to hear it? Well, if you leave the room exactly like you found it, then um, everybody's happy. Now, that cuts both ways. Because if you find the room messy, <laughs> unless you get bit by a cleaning bug, <laughs> hey, leave it messy, you know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, you know, it's so good to um, read your posts and your comments, you know, because as encouraging as you say that your words are, that my words are for you, many, 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 many of your words are just as encouraging for me. And the other thing that's just as encouraging are the prayers. You know, whew, lint storm. Now I got the dust. I really need to stop that cleaning stuff. You guys are going to think I'm OCD and I'm really not. I just like it a little clean. That's bad. Business. So what? My house. But um, I tell you what. Uh, I'm so glad to have this laundry done. I really, really am. I mean, this is the last load. And like I said, the only dirty clothes in my part of the house is what's on my back right now. I'm getting ready for bridge day, though. I went out and got a bunch of healthy snacks to sell for a little fundraiser as we set up our first booth. Technically, yeah, it's our first fundraiser, but, you know, it's um, for the um, MHAG. That's the acronym for the group. But um, I really want, if you guys haven't been to Bridge Day um, and you're not doing anything tomorrow, come on out, you know. I try to get there about 11 in the morning or so. Um, definitely by 1. By 1, it'll be jam-packed. But, um, to me, that's when it's the best when you see all the people and all the mix of people. Now, the base jumpers are going to come from all over the world, but, um, you know, a lot of the tourists who are there, now, there's a lot of them, ew, oh, that's a cleaning rag. I lost that. I think that's going to the garbage. Um, as is that one. Um, but, um, yeah, it's really, 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 really cool. A lot of the people who come, a lot of them are West Virginians, and it's just so good to see us mountaineers gather together for something so awe-inspiring as the view from the bridge this time of year with all of the colors. It really is like a rainbow. But, um, it is just so breathtaking to see these people that stand up there and they say their little things or do their little dance and then they do what most normal folks view as just plain crazy. They jump! Woo! And you have to see it to believe it. You really do. You really do. But, um, you know, I need to wrap this up in more ways than one because it's time to, um, go out to zombie land and, um, Grab the oldest as she wraps up another successful night, I hope. Put that haunted trail there out of way, which is kind of cool. Also, um, i got to get some sleep. You know, we got to be at Bridge Day at 5.30 in the morning? That's just crazy. All that started because of 9-11. 9-11. Woo! I'm going to have to talk about that with you guys one day. Took it quite personally. It hit me right in... My family, not my immediate, immediate family, but you can't get more close in my own mind. A terrifying day 9-11 was. In fact, I took it so personally that, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but um, I did a small short stint in the Army. But the day I saw those towers fall down, and I knew that my aunt worked there and had just went back to work, I went and tried to join the army again because I wanted some payback. You know, God forgive me for that. God forgive me for that. But I wanted payback. I did. I did. But things work out, you know. I like to end with a joke, and this one is kind of, well, it's a little morbid. But um, 
I thought it was funny. The first time I heard it, especially. I said, uh, um, somebody told me that they heard that they had named a drink after um, Osama bin Laden. I'm like, yeah, they did. Really? What's in it? Two shots and a flash of water. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. God bless him. God bless you. Thank you so much for the love and support. Got to fly. I'll see you. It never wants to stop. I'm just missing it. Nope, that didn't get it either.